How's it going everybody? Welcome to this week's episode of Draw the World. It's the series where we go onto Google Earth, we explore around and we look for something to draw. Most of you watching are probably familiar with this series by now because it's become quite a, a common thing on the channel. A lot of you like these episodes and so I, I try to make it a regular thing. I haven't done one in about two weeks though because I've been a bit preoccupied with some uh, other stuff that I've had planned and that I've been working on. But um, like usual, I've had a look at the comments on that episode, looked at your recommendations recommendations for this one and um yeah let's have a look we are going to be going to china by the looks of things that comment has 20 likes so yeah it seems to be highly requested and china is a, a big place so i don't know if there's anywhere specific in china where you'd like me to go but i'm just gonna go ahead type in china click enter and uh throw ourselves down somewhere and see where we end up like usual um so let's close that and let's zoom in a bit um Hopefully the street view feature is working in this place because it, it, it didn't really work in India Which was quite frustrating. Luckily we got a drawing done at the end of that though, but um, right we have quite a quite a lot of Places to uh, choose from here I'm actually gonna go ahead and zoom in a bit because then I'll be able to see the roads that I can get down to and Hopefully street view is working in these places. Let's have a look at this place. Is this a uh, like a small small town? Or is it, uh, it's quite a, a big place, I think. Yeah, it's a pretty, pretty big place wherever we are. Um, let me grab the guy. Uh, let's have a look. Street view, is it possible? I, I don't think it is. I don't know, we'll throw ourselves down somewhere and let's have a look at these uh, photospheres and maybe we can just do a drawing from one, from one of them. We're inside right now and we're in a, we're in a fern shop. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's literally just took a photo on this this uh, photosphere, whatever it is, um, in a phone store, in an Apple store, uh, in China, and there's all these phones on display for sale. There's a guy there who is um, probably just trying to test out a product or something. Uh, he might be a yeah, he's a worker here trying to sell him whatever that is. This isn't anything special to draw, so let's just come out of this again. All right, let's move on. Let's see if there's anything else around. Uh, we're probably just going to have to work from these photospheres because um, I don't think uh, the, the street view feature is available again. So let's just put ourselves into one of these and uh, see what we end up with. Let's uh, go here. Um, it's quite out the way from what looks like some kind of bigger town over there to the right. But let's see what this is. Maybe it's something good. Who knows? If not, we can just come out of it. But all right. Uh, whoa. Okay. Um, this is cool. There's like temples of some kind. Uh, girl with uh, an umbrella, probably trying to block out the sun. I've uh, I went to Hong Kong and um, there was quite a lot of people with umbrellas, uh, trying to like stay in the shade. There's a guy here who is. What's that guy doing? Oh, he's wiping his nose. <laughs> All right, <laughs> let's come out of this a second. I'll re I'll remember this place. Uh, I think I've just lost it. Oh well. Um. <laughs> All right, <laughs> let's uh, put ourselves down again somewhere. We'll have to just go into one of these again, and uh, yeah, maybe it's something else. I don't know. There's one down here, over um, on this like cliff or something. Maybe it's a good view of the area. I'm not sure. Whoa. All right. Oh, this is pretty cool. Yeah, this is cool. I think this is what we're going to be drawing for this one. Like a, a temple of some sort. It seems to be quite a, a popular area. There's a lot of people taking photos of the place. All right, let's draw this. Let's draw some temples. And is that a bell? It's like a, a bell with money stuck to the side of it. I don't know. Um... Whoa, <laughs> just a random guy's leg. <laughs> All the rest of his body is missing. Uh, and this guy doesn't have legs, so he can just take that guy's leg. And then we have a whole person. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with this, but yeah, let's draw. Let's draw something from around here and maybe it will turn out all right. So this is uh, China. We are going to be drawing some, some kind of temple. 
so I've decided to go ahead and draw these temples which we have come across along with a load of tourists that are visiting them. Uh, this is probably like some kind of attraction I'm guessing. I'm not too sure but it's frustrating that we can't explore around in a street view but I suppose not all places around the world can have that. Especially places like India and China. Uh, the places that are quite out there but it doesn't really matter that much we are still able to take advantage of the uh, this photosphere which is also a feature involved in Google Earth where it's uh, it's pretty much a collection of furs that people have added to like a, a library I'm guessing so we can just draw from them and uh, yeah I haven't really done an episode of this in a while because I've been busy with some other things that I've been working on currently as I'm recording this I'm actually planning a Halloween special which is something that I've had planned for a while and that will probably change the approach to all of the videos in the future from then on but uh, I'm excited to show you what I'm doing with that and uh, yeah I'm looking forward to it but uh, this series is probably the only opportunity that I get to work from well directly from a reference image these days because you'll know that a lot of the work that I produce now is quite imaginative but I still think there's a lot of skill involved and there's definitely value in working directly from a reference image like I have to create realistic textures and details to capture the image correctly I also have to control the mechanical pencil in order to get different results and then there's the uh, the observation which comes into play like I'm studying what it is that I'm drawing and then trying to reproduce it and I always tend to work quickly when I have a reference in front of me and I think that's because a lot of the information that I need to know is already there I, I don't have to make as much decisions because I know what it is that I'm drawing so overall I think this drawing had taken about two hours and uh, the pages in this sketchbook are quite small so I don't really spend much time drawing at a larger scale but yeah we are gathering up quite a collection of drawings now from different places around the world and next episode I'll make sure that we can explore the streets in a street view and it's okay if we can't but I think it's more enjoyable when we can move around and discover things that way but uh, that's pretty much everything for this episode this was China and we have drawn some temples thank you for leaving your comments down below and suggesting some places for me to do one of these if you want to see me do some more of these then just feel free to comment and leave more suggestions I, I read most of them but I usually just go for the comments that get the most likes because there seem to be the places that most people want to see but yeah, I'll leave this to play out in time lapse a bit and this has been an episode of Draw the World. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.